The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. I heard this story once of this, this boy, uh, sorry, this family. They're going to visit their, their Zayda. They show up to his house. Zaydi, Zaydi, we're here. And it's the kids, the grandkids, whatever. They all show up, 25 of them pack in. And they see right away when they look at this, Zayda's face was like, he was distraught. They said, Zayda, what's wrong? He said, I'll tell you the truth. I was, I was preparing, getting ready for you to come. And I just noticed, do you remember the watch? Remember that watch that uh, your Bobby got for me? They say, yeah, we remember. He says, I'm looking everywhere. I can't find the watch. So they say, Zayda, did you check here? Check here? He says, yeah, I checked everywhere. So then we're going to help you find it. So all the 25 kids and grandkids, they come packing into the house. They say to him, Zaydi, where did you see it last? He said, last time I saw it, I was in the garage. I say, okay, fine. So they all go into the garage. And there's, hey, do you check over there? Lift up the boxes. Check under there. See the box? And they're, make, and they're flipping the place upside down. And it's, it's wild in that garage. 15 minutes, half hour, 45 minutes, nothing. They turn the place upside down. It's like a tornado in there. Eventually, they said, you know, forget about it. We, we can't. They all go into the house. And when they get into the house, one of the boys, they see Zayd is upset. So one of the grandkids says, say, listen, I have an idea. He tells everybody, stay here, stay here. So they all stay. All the kids, grandkids, everyone stays in the house. And the boy goes back out to the garage. Five, 10 minutes, 15 minutes later, he walks back in the room. And he's holding the watch. And they all live there. Maishi, where, where did you find it? How did you? He says, I'll tell you what I did. You all stayed here. I went back into the, the garage. And I sat down in the middle. In the middle of the garage. And I just sat there. I didn't move. No noise, nothing. And I just listened in silence, a deafening silence, till it got so quiet that I was able to hear and that's how I found it. Amazing how when everybody was cucking, running, trying to find the watch, making noise, turning everything, we couldn't find it. But when all the voices quieted down, when all the noise quiets down, that's when you begin to hear it. That's when you begin to really hear. I think it's uh, uh, Rabbi Sachs who said this idea. He says that we're, we're given uh, the Saras Hadibris. Where? In the Midbar. Midbar Sinai. And he points out, he says, what's the connection between, between the, the Dibris, the Medaber Hashem, and the Midbar? He says, because you can't hear the Medaber. You can't hear Hashem speaking. Until you make yourself like a midbar. To make yourself quiet. Quiet down your own voice. Quiet down your own stuff. It's not about you anymore. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.